Okay, so this is my latest program that I've written in Python and Pygame. It's my first non-game program, which is challenging and yet strangely not quite as rewarding. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, it was basically it's a Notepad clone, a very simple stripped-down Notepad clone, but it's it's an it's a Notepad. So why don't I why don't I show that, bring that up right now? So bring it up. All right. So here's the notepad, just like you'd expect. There's no there's no scroll bar on the on the side or on the bottom. And no matter what you do in the program, you can't do that. So obviously that's one thing you can't do. But the red thing is the is the cursor. It follows along as you type, like you'd expect. It's not the it doesn't look like the traditional blinking one. Uh, again, that's a feature that I'll probably add at a later date, but as of now, it's just a red block, red bar thing. But yeah, so this is using Pygame. There's no widget toolkit I use at all. Uh, it's just basically just using Pygame to to blit the graphics onto the screen. So so in a way, it's like a game, except without any rules or fun. So yeah, so as you can see. Python is a fun language to learn. It works just like a normal notepad. Spaces work, tabs work. Okay, so now, what happens if I go to the end, edge of the screen? Sometimes, though, it can be very difficult. Oh, look at that. It moved over like you'd expect. As you, so that's called the camera. So as you go to the edge, you want everything to adjust to fit in the in this square box, right? Because if you kept on typing normally, it would just go off the edge. So the camera, what the camera does is, as you go off the edge, it adjusts it accordingly the actual distance that you traveled over it. So no matter what you type, it moves it over appropriately. And like a notepad, the camera won't adjust initially if you hit the delete key. It'll when when once you get over to the edge, so I'll just back it up here. Once you get back to the edge over here, now it starts to adjust like you'd expect. All right? Okay. So now say I want to put this on the second sentence on a new line. Just like a normal notepad, press return. And look at that. Now you have two lines. And like, like you'd expect, you can do the exact same thing. And yeah, it's it's there's not really much to explain because it's exactly like you'd expect as a notepad. But let me tell you, getting that that camera thing to work because, for example, like I can go down like this. Oh, now it's been adjusted. But as you can see, as you go back, everything gets back right. Getting that camera to work properly with that with the cursor here. With the, with the red bar, it was such a pain. It was by far the most challenging aspect. I had to rewrite the program over and over to get it to work. But yeah, so it's lacking features, obviously. You can't click on a part. You can't click on a, a part of the sentences to make you the cursor go to that part yet. Obviously, I can add to that later. Um, so why don't I look at the code for a second? Oh, yeah, yeah. So. You can't save files yet, you can't load files yet, but I feel like those are just details that I can add later. I'm just kind of sick and tired of working on this program. I'll come back to it eventually. So, again, there's not that much to say about the code because really it's the, the, the main game loop. It's not really a game, but the game loop is just two functions. You get the input from the, from the user. And then you have a big function called display text, which just takes in all the all the variables that are altered throughout and changes them. Uh, yeah. So, well, what can I really say, really? Um, uh, this is interesting. Uh, I think I learned, other than like, obviously I learned a lot about strings and, and lists and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. But kind of making functions 
and then forgetting how exactly they work was pretty useful because so I have something called get string rect which just takes whatever string you're working on at the moment and gets a rectangle object which has coordinates obviously and dimensions and returns that you know after a while using the program I kind of forgot exactly how that worked I mean obviously I could figure it out again if I wanted to or just look at the code but just by knowing get string rect I could just type that and I could get that same thing here I could get string at the insert point so the cursor is always at the insert point and what this function does is it gets the string all the letters before the cursor point so even if you're in the middle of the string it just gets all the letters before the cursor up until the to the edge of the of the of the line and so that, that was that was interesting um, and now just to, to finish off this video I'll show you how most of my programming, how the program looked to me most of the time while I was working on it. Uh, so I added this blue background to make it obvious to me where exactly the string was. I added the, I made the the text obviously bigger so I could test the camera a lot quicker because as you looked at the other version, you know the text is at a normal, at a normal size, so it takes forever to type to the edge. And the values on the bottom right is interesting. So the one on the farthest right is the insert number or the insert point. That just means essentially the number of characters over. So I'm at 0, now I'm at point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4. It's kind of like a grid system in a way. But the problem with the, it can't be, it's not quite like a grid because every, every character has a different width. So you can't have a set box width like you would with a, a grid. Now the second number over here, that's that's the total number of pixels you are to the right of the x margin. So the x margin is 10 pixels from the left of the screen. And finally, this one on the far left is the camera adjustment for the x value. The, the, it's what I call the camera x. So the camera has to adjust 181 pixels to accommodate the text. And as you go left here, obviously the camera doesn't adjust. The number stays the same. But as you go back to the edge, Oh, it's starting to decrease again because now you're back to the beginning again. Now I didn't I didn't need to really once I figured out the X camera, the Y camera was simple, so I didn't add that value. But, but yeah, so obviously this is pretty ugly looking because of the weird blue background and stuff and the numbers, but it made debugging it and figuring out all the kinks of the program a lot easier. So yeah, that was my program. Honestly, way harder than the tic-tac-toe program. Pretty proud of it, but I'm pretty exhausted working on it. And um, I'll be glad when I start a new project, a little more fun. But it's pretty rewarding overall. And uh, there we go. Thanks for watching. This is my notepad clone. Thanks.